30 minute 10 game, see how we get on. It feels like ages since I played a long game. It's probably only two days away. <laughs> Let's see. It's going for Fianchetto, really slow. Let's go here. And it looks like this opponent has resigned. How weird is that? Okay, strange behaviour. Okay, well, I'll click on another one, maybe. If that's the way things are going, I might well, I might just come off. <laughs> oh, let's go for another one, see if we're going to get another one. Uh, you wouldn't expect this player to go off, would you? 18, 14. Oh, this should be a bit serious. Okay. Or not, it doesn't look like they're starting. Have we hit funny hour? Hmm. Okay, well they took a while. They accepted the seek, but then they took a while. Hmm. I'll say hello back. So it looks like we're gonna be in some trouble in this game then. It took ages setting up. Been playing a lot of correspondence games recently. It's really interesting. You can really spend a lot of time, you know, properly looking. If you're looking at improving your game, playing long games like that, it's really quite interesting to play. You see a lot more things. You may still do the same basic stuff that you do when you're playing live games, but there's you see a whole heap of strategies and plans that you can start added in. So this kind of centre thing is all getting locked up and locked down. I'm not really interested in that locking down situation. I'm actually just going to bring the knight here, see if it can sit in the middle. Won't be there for long because they'll develop the knight out here. So we'll have to do a bit of this stuff. So old school centre closing down, terrible, we don't like it, we don't like it, let's just get the pieces out, okay it might be time to just jump in the, into the middle, pawn's going to be here all by itself isn't it, so we could take this then he takes back with his knight so we're still in the same position so the pawn would be in the middle so we may not do that just yet although it looks like pieces have disappeared fairly quickly yep takes with the knight ok I'm a skirting around the subject could sacrifice, boom boom I don't think we're ready for that are we? Looking to come here, go there, I'm in the centre, just play a sensible chess, let's just push this pawn here, yes it looks like a slow move, it's stopping this knight potentially from coming there, and that's the creative bit coming in, ooh the knight could come here but it's not really going to do anything anyway, so they've done a lazy man pushing down on the far side, so we'll block with our own lazy man. I think the ball's in Black's court. Into yeah, so he's come down attacking the but B pawn. Always for the B pawn. Let's just block here. 
so I'm just waiting for the opponent to overextend create some sort of situation so I'm, I want them to basically put themselves out of balance because this lockdown thing is no good we're going to have to potentially come here he's crowding me out Pawn's going to be stuck in the centre here can jam up here it's an awful lockdown position but here, here goes let's go there well at least we know about the lockdown position we did that when we first started playing chess just bring this here oops bring that there queen's protecting this pawn if they forget themselves we'll take the queen So if he gets rid of his knight, I'm just thinking if we go, if he's, if he's continuing to go with the lockdown thing, the bishop's going to be na Navarus nor or no ornament here. He does actually go for it because everything's going to be locked down, so the bishop won't really be able to get into anywhere. Like we say, we'll hopefully jump in here, but we'll see how it, what happens. So in essence we have a flexible knight against a bad bishop because his pieces are on dark squares so he might want to probably mobilise his dark square bishop around here somewhere. Queen's coming down looking for the pawn really so we're going to come here and do the block off thing like we said. So I just need to wait to see what the opponent does now. See if they're going to overreach. Poor bishop either comes out but it's gonna get mashed so maybe brings these pawns so then at least it's got some activity to work behind these pawns on this side you can see how the queen is trying to squeeze in here dishevel a bit of the pawns on this side yeah like we said it's probably going to make it the king's protector you know bring it here to bring it there that type of thing so we could bring our queen attacking his queen I'm just gonna do that it's something it's um, nothing major and what we've done is given him the pawn if he doesn't so we can bring our queen up here you know, to get some trouble on this side they like to greedy munch when they see a free pawn but we do have sides of the king area if we can do something with it I say his bishop's wanting to come and be the king's protector. Must be a rook rover. Probably won't get the rook rover in. Up and across and across. So that's what I'm thinking. I've given up a pawn to see if I can improve my position on the board. So I'm just thinking if we still go here after he's gone there. His bishop can still come here, but then our knight can jump here. And if the bishop goes there, then the queen just takes and it's checkmate. He's putting a lot of thought into this move. He's, I think he's seen it, hasn't he? Okay, so we could take his queen off the board or we could continue. Mind you, he's given space for his rook to actually come here and defend. So if the queen came there, then it's not necessarily his bishop, his rook is going to come here. Because then if the knight comes there, the knight's attacking the rook actually, so the rook would have to come here. Or the bishop takes, then the rook knight off the board, queen takes. Hmm, okay. So, like we mentioned earlier, he's going to want to make space for his bishop to make it feel stronger because if we take, he locks down the pawn, he's going to take the queen because that position doesn't work for us anymore. Probably does in evaluation, but I can't see it at this moment. So he captures with the pawn, we can push our pawn up 
and now he's got like a porn stormy situation coming on here so to be lazy be lazy be lazy just push 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 bring the knight down bring the knight down push the pawn interesting lockdown so we've got a flexible knight but we need to make it work for us he's guarding this area quite nicely which is our king area and he's got the force coming down here with the pawns just going to bring the rook here I'd rather the opponent come and extend it and you know push down giving a bit more space for us to think where we can go knight can come here which is a nice position I think for it if he continues the attack mm -hmm. so he's defending the pawn potential pawn push up so he's not doing anything dynamic at the moment so that's good so maybe they're struggling for something to do if we pushed he's going to double up the rooks onto the pawn if we bring the rook up seeing as he's not thinking of anything let's just bring this rook here and if he's looking for doubling on this side we bring the rooks here I think he's probably looking to play for his pawn majority type thing over here well, as we speak <laughs> ok so we've got the safe haven for the knight so I'm just going to bring the knight down so it's not too much hassle for these pawns coming down here we do have potential rook rover type situations it's because of the double pawn situation which I believe is um, going to work for us so he's pushing down and we can push in the centre here um, he's probably just going to push down but because we're hitting two pawns I think he'll, he'll take with one or the other so that would be my key move I think pushing here try to open up a bit which I'm going to do that because he has to take with one of them if he pushes down we take here if he pushes down we take there he might be comfortable but at the minute we've got the rook protecting this pawn ready to move across or ready to double here whichever looks flexible so he does capture so opening up the space around the king we capture again and this time he probably pushes past rather than capturing because he doesn't want our knight to get too active with movements like etc etc so that's why it's taking so long yeah pushing past yeah which makes sense so we can come across with the knight we're attacking the pawn with the bishops on the pawn so like i said he's trying to make this bishop strong but it's kind of weakened it even more so because now it doesn't really have any squares to go on everywhere that it's going it's jammed so that's a positive for us he does have a like a past pawn here so we need to not get carried away with ourselves okay so rook rover time so if we bring the rook here to come here to attack his rook just small moves i'm just wanting the opponent to overextend as best possible they're doing a nice job of overextending I've got the pawn here so we're going to attack the rook I don't think he will take I think he'll just balance onto the bishop here <coughs> and the bishop's just gonna hold court in the oh he's taken okay so the rook will come and attack the knight he's trying to make space for his pawn here this is all locked down really so I don't really need to it's just that he does have this pawn that potentially is coming down and king can protect move the king up he pushes his pawn down and then the king takes then the rook takes so we have to be mindful of that could bring the knight back that looks quite nice nice position would be to get to here i think so if the knight was here um, but then really everything's protected isn't it i can't go here can't take there can't take there so if I got to this position if I come down it's a little bit jammed down isn't it if 
probably safer just coming back here, blocking off this pawn. Okay, so this is going to be attempting to, if we pushed, eventually that's going to take and the rook can come up, but for now, also his, ooh, yeah, his rook wants to come here to attack this pawn. Interesting time, so, <coughs> let's go here, so if his knight does, rook, sorry, does come down, we can take it. So we're playing on the back really, like I said we've been waiting for the opponent to overextend and we're really fighting from the back here. We've only got a little bit of juice with this pawn pushing up but I don't think it's going to give us much dice <coughs> but it might open, oh he's attacking this pawn. So this pawn can protect, yep so we're on the back, we're on the back foot but we're defending as best possible, the bishop can't get in at the moment. The only piece that really can do some juice is this pawn here, I think. But I think we need to establish just pushing this up like a little Merry Daisy. Because the knight's now protecting two pawns here. It's not as um, lively as I was expecting it to be, but it's doing a job. If this pawn is looking to push down, is he sacrificing some? I don't really see it king can protect from the both this pawn here so the rook's going back because it's going to protect this pawn or it's going to come behind this pawn while this pushes down so we are going to push the pawn there's nothing else for us to do in this lockdown situation yeah so now his bishop can come and attack the pawn so he's got a two on one there Mm -hmm. So if we push he just takes and then that's it, takes takes, rook can come up but I'm not anywhere near anything, ok, knight up, nope, I cannot get anything and I've lost the pawn. Hmm. What can I do then? What can I do? Move the knight. Oh, nice spot. Going to be too late to the party, so I am going to lose this pawn. Come there. To there. And then I'm out into the field. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, let's do that. While his bishop's attacking our pawn. He might go for the exchange of the rook type thing, but... I don't know if that's a good idea because his bishop's locked in. So let's hope that he does go for the rook take. Because if he doesn't then he's pinning his own rook. So if he went here and took, which he has done. So we're going to go here like we were going to do. So when he takes then his bishop then can't move back again because he's pinned his rook so I'll be able to take his rook for free unless of course he pushes this pawn to protect the bishop that's what he's going to do yeah okay that's what he's going to do so bishop takes the pawn knight jumps here attacking this pawn bishop's not going to jump back to protect this because we'll take the rook so he'll drop that pawn so then we get the pawn back by attacking this pawn here his rook then gets fed up <laughs> and then comes across and attacks the pawn that's got no protection on it here and our knight is in the middle playing quite happy interesting story we've got plenty of time both of us as well 26 minutes what was it you said a 10 second, 10 second increment so it's an interesting development from the lockdown phase we're turning the story into a positive now it looks like because we've got the opponent going back just for a second to attack the pawn and I think that rhythm works for us in terms of them pinning their own rook with their bishop well, once they take the pawn or indeed if they take the pawn he could push the pawn down and then we can just push the pawn up then so maybe his king is going to come here but we do have the outpost still for the knight 
always remembering he's got this past poem our king is here protecting so they're taking a while now they're probably going through the process that we've just gone through So it's even Stevens on the doors at the minute. It takes with the rook instead. So that means his bishop can come back and protect the pawn. So he's going to be a pawn up. But the story that we said was because he's got the dark square bishop, his dark square bishop is in lockdown. And it's whether my flexible bishop, my flexible knight can actually win back. I won't win back the pawn, which is a shame because I take and then his bishop is just taken yeah so that's why they took so long because then when our knight comes here the bishop can come back and protect so yeah there's not going to be many knight comes here mm-hmm well, I'm going to have to take anyway. So bishop takes. And I believe I have to go here. <laughs> I have to go there. Still have to attack the pawn. But he's won a tempo. Very clever. Well, no wonder they took so long thinking, for, thinking that through. So they're plus one. Bishop comes back to protect. And I've not worked out anything from that point on. I don't even know if this is any good knight coming here. So at some stage I might get trapped with his bishop. His bishop is so locked in though, it's, it's kind of a useless bishop. But if I can't find anything, then my knight is useless. So when it goes here, it's not really attacking anything, is it? I can go there, I can go here. Can go up there. Can dance around a bit, attacking the bishop and the pawn. Bishop just moves back, and then my knight can't go anywhere from that point. Ooh, that's a dangerous one. <sighs> yes, well, wonder if they take a draw. Although they're plus one now, so they're probably thinking, I don't think so. Maybe move the king up. Just getting right in front of this pawn. Can his king get through? Not there. This pawn. If he gets behind his pawn. Do, 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 do. No, not there. If he goes there, gets behind his pawn. If this gets pushed down, we've got the rhinoceros head, so he can't actually get through. And this is not a good maneuver, is it? We make a move, this king starts coming across. Make another move, his king comes across. We make another move, king comes across. We attack the bishop, bishop goes, ha ha ha, now you're trapped. Makes another move. I don't think his king can come and get me anyway because I'm on the outpost, but then that's it. Hmm, there must be something better somewhere. I don't want to retreat, but if I have to, there's nothing to attack. This pawn hasn't got any protection, but his king is going to protect. If we go up, I'd need to be here, wouldn't I? Here or here. And I don't think they're going to allow me to get that position. We go there, pretending to go here, and I can't get to there. Can I? Move the king. I don't think there's anything else. I think the only thing that can crease us is this pawn, but I don't know what sort of damage it can do because we have the double pawns here. Yeah, the king's moving. 
So we go before we do that. Now with a check, just to get busy. If the king moves across, knight with a check, call some knight up here. I'm never getting to that square. Don't know what I'm thinking. Does he think his king can get down here? No, it can't, can it? It definitely can't. Oh, that's what I was seeing. Yeah, his king can get here. If he drops, we can double. Hmm. If I move my king. Oops, I meant to do an arrow. <laughs> move the king. I've moved the king. I'm waiting for the draw offer. I mean, I'll offer a draw, but maybe they just want to test the skills. King's going further away, so I need to be here or here with my knight. And I don't know how to get to the... I'd have to go all the way around the houses. Or is he thinking his king can come down and support this king's going doom, 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 and then he goes bang. I don't need to take. This king's not getting down there. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think maybe we need to just keep on this pawn for now. Move the king again, maybe? Has he got some sights? How I'm worried about his king finding one of those rhythms where it's a zugzwang and he's just peeling off the pawns and then getting promotions. So they're all there with the knight. How am I getting that position? I don't think I can. There. There. Ooh, there, and then there, okay, there, 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 there. Obviously his king's there, oh, well, oh, it's coming down with something. See if we get away with it, if he comes and attacks we're not going to get away with it. We're just trying to get this pawn with the knight. And I don't want to trap it, because if I go too far up, then I won't be able to come back. And yeah, he's not wearing it. Okay. They're not wearing it. They're not wearing it. And just go here. It's annoying because when you're plus one, you say to yourself, no, it's not a draw. Ooh, lucky look. Yeah, but watch, if I go here, then he comes back again. I won't get my position, will I? Which is the, we'll give it a try though, because I can always come back here, can't I? Let's go there. Come on, let me have it. Although I might. Get, oh, he's defending it with the bishop. He saw it coming a mile off. My gosh, there's me thinking I'm being all stealthy. I can't leave the knight there. I'm going to have to move it. It'll get trapped. Oh, that's going. Is there another way? No. <laughs> there's, there's not many ways here 
that is, could attack the bishop. Does he lose tempo by me attacking the bishop? Or is this a Zugzwang thing? Whoa, steady on. I go here and he allows me to take the bishop by coming here. So then I take the bishop and then his king takes my knight. Ooh, I don't think I want to be in any of this Zugzwang stuff. His king's there, then it's my go. I can't really do anything at all. No, I'm not getting into any of that. Let's attack the pawn here. And he's probably just going to bring his bishop there, saying, Take the bishop, take the bishop, because I'm going to beat you with Zugzwang. I think they will do somehow, strange as it may seem, because they do have this passer here. And the king can be get to the position here can he get through there? gets to the position there if he pushes his pawn yeah because if he pushes the pawn and I take with my pawn he's in the dark square and he's not going for it good but he's blocked me completely from actually attacking this pawn that's just shifty business shifty business go here so I don't think I'm exchanging my knight I think somehow his king can get to the dark square here so say that's his king after all this stuff he can push down we don't have to take but I think we probably will take if we take with this one and he says his king then is in here then he can go to either side so that's like a winning situation for them. Yeah, so I think this needs to stay blocked. <laughs> I think if he's thinking correctly, the king needs to be in this spot rather than the bishop. He pushes that pawn, we take, his king gets elevated and then we're in trouble because he can just come down and get these this back pawn ooh and he's got plenty of time as well ouch that's gonna hurt that is gonna hurt and if the bishop's protecting this pawn somehow then the knight's not gonna get that taken whoa heavy duty heavy duty heavy duty so that's what's going to happen in this game i think that that's the weakness unless of course he decides to drop here when he wants to open up the pawn because there is that madness as well yeah definitely a losing position i can't wait to look at the analysis on this one So he's a deep thinker and they came out with some good thinking on this side here with the rook exchange so I can't really see them failing with either plumping for coming down this side or plumping for coming ex exchanging the king for the bishop and working the way down there Oh, it looks like the exchange is taking place just as we speak. Yeah, so he's going to be somehow manoeuvring his king over. Hmm. Um. I can't go through all that movement again. So if he's going to be sitting there. Yeah, I've not even got a king, my king is blocking this pawn. If only we could get rid of that pawn. We have two there. But he's got two too. <laughs> Beat him to the punch, punch. Push here. Takes. He's got two passes. No, that does not work at all. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to sit and wait and they're just going to come down and pummel me. Come 
Ooh, the night again. I'm docking this square, so he's going to have to go all the way up, come down to get to here. So he's got like three moves up, up, down, down. Hmm. Obviously, he's got to come and protect the pawn first. In fact, he didn't need to move his bishop all the way back here. There's a different sort of plan going on, isn't there? Hmm. Okay, let's just move the king. Hmm, did I miss something? Hold on. Well, it came back from there, so... I can't see them actually going for a draw, but if he's not thinking of getting the king here, then it potentially is going for a draw. Or is he doing that thing where they make you think, oh, you're going for a draw, and then they come out with these deadly moves. He has two deadly moves situations, so in essence, I've got my hand on my head because I know full well this is not really a, a good position for me he does have this bad bishop bishop but like I said I've talked through the story he could actually and he wants me to take because he's gonna get the Zugzwang thing his king's just gonna come down here down there but he doesn't need to exchange his bishop to do that so I'm actually just going to move my king we all know what he wants to do, looks like anyway from now. I think they do see this position, but yeah, so then come in here. He's wanting to protect the pawn, he's realised keep protecting the pawn is key. So then the king is going to come down here, come here, and yeah, that's right. It's going to come there, come there, come there, and then this pawn pushes to attack our king is okay yes it's just that we don't want to overwork it so then if we take the pawn then his king comes into the middle here and there's not a right lot that I can do about that because as we mentioned he can go this way or he most definitely is going to go that way but he can't go that way yet because the knight is protecting this square so he could come here but then he can't come here because the knight's protecting the square. Interesting times! Ah, so we might be okay. We might be okay after all. Yeah, because the bishop can't dislodge. So the only other thing then is doing it on this side. And what's the breakdown on that side then? So we've done that one to death now. Okay, so I thought initially he was going to be able to, but if we just keep our knight here, we should be okay. And it's going the other way. So, yeah, so this has got second choice. Now, I've not really worked this one out. I did say coming round here, coming round here, coming there, to then attack our pawn. We don't necessarily need to take. So if he does take, then we take and replicate. So then that pawn is off the board, so then he changes his mind, loops back around again. Do, 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 do. Does that make a difference to this situation here? If this pawn is there, no, it's because the knight's protecting. Is it? Yeah. So he gets his king there. He's not going to sacrifice him. Oh, maybe there's a difference. Hold on. So then his king comes back around here this pawn drops then we take then the king comes down now it can attack this pawn whoa it can attack the pawn and then come down here oh there's method in his madness so in right and now our knight can't jump to any of these squares because the bishop's blocking everything off. 
so be proactive be proactive so if we brought our knight back and then it's protecting that pawn so we could do that later when he's if he if he goes this way so we'll see if he does don't know what difference that's going to make actually but if he continues and he goes down and he goes down then this pawn pushes and say we say well we don't want to take oh it's pushing anyway it's pushing anyway and he's keeping his king close enough distance to come either way so we don't need to take but then obviously they are going with that logic that the king is coming down mm. so we could bring the knight here if he takes which is probably what he's wanting to do does the knight take because we're giving up crucial square we already know if we take with the pawn then the king is ramping home he's smiling he's making his way down Pawn pushes. Pawn pushes. Pawn pushes. Pawn pushes. Pawn pushes. <laughs> yeah, there's no way out of that, is there? This pawn. Come on, knight. There must be something the knight can do, surely sacrifice itself <laughs> oh, it's like a snowball it's just getting bigger and bigger now especially when you know what the opponent is what their power base is our king can't do anything maybe I'm panicking too much about this pawn maybe I could be yeah but if I swing over he's just going to push down isn't he so then I have to go back again then at least we'll get the pawn off the board so if I swing over here just for a little bit of protection so then when his king is looking at you know this type of situation because we do have a knight that can come here if the that pawn was going to be going all the way down did I make a move? no, ok let's move the king because we more or less know what the opponent is attempting to do so if we do take dun 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 dun. I need toilet <laughs> always coming eh? always going further down going further down hmm uh, that wasn't really factored in I don't know what that was It's just doing a merry dance. We all know he's wanting to come here, unless of course, because we're not going to take this pawn. If I move my king closer into the center, obviously then he can push. So he can push. We can bring our knight here. Just to hold this area. So bringing this knight here, it's also blocking this here. Just mindful, I'm on a dark square with my king. Dun, 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 dun. Coming to the center. Because now I don't think he's coming here, that's going to be a, a waste unless he's winning something I'm not sure if he works his way down no I've covered that I don't think there's anything winning here he can't make his way down here okay let's move away from that pawn for a few for a few moves centralize the king Hmm. Yeah. 
I need to go to the toilet so I'm going to just pause that has he finished me off oh he's doing the grand circle so he would have offered a draw ages ago so he's doing the grand circle making it look like he doesn't know what he's doing but round 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 maybe but he just can't get there with his king because the our pawn is blocking so there's some fancy business I'm actually gonna see if he's gonna take the draw but because he's plus one here he won't I don't think they'll accept it because I have nothing oh they've accepted it woohoo fantastic okay yeah that was um that was like a proper real life over the board game you know those games where you just think oh my god just give it up this is is like pulling teeth i know for a fact i had nothing and i tried to look as best possible as to the strengths so let's have a look at the analysis board now let's dare to look at this analysis board I've been chomping at the bit for ages. Right, end result. Black is slightly winning, minus, minus 0.6. So it's not a big thing, actually. Well, it's not a big thing at all. Well, I thought it was massively. Where's the... Um... Right, there we go. Right. What's it? Nah, I'm not taking that pawn for nobody, I don't think so. Anyway, let's go through how we got on. Fairly okay with this thing. I, I don't think I should have let this um, situation grow. You know from the moment of this area here I shouldn't have let that grow yeah ordinarily I probably would have been blasting through here you know attacking the center to try and get rid of this um, lockdown thing so that was that was my own error I think and they pushed here this, this lockdown -y thing is um, so old school and I, I let it stay there it's showing that we're advantageous actually it's showing plus 0.7 but because I'm not a fan of it, <laughs> I didn't really see it. So that's okay. Got the pieces out, attacked. Let's see where the dip happens. We're blocked off. Okay, so we're still winning at this stage. Brought the knight through. That wasn't too bad, but it's starting to fade a little bit. Looking for the exchange. No can do, yes can do. Captures. And still drawish type stuff, minus 0.5. Yeah, so we just sat back and waited for the opponent to try and overextend, really. Um, tiny bit of advantage there, bring the rook through, odd position. Yeah, so we're just getting sort of squished, but then we've got advantage, but we're not really lighting up the world with these moves. So, yeah, at this point here, where they go for the exchange, right. Yeah, so that was uh, winning for them. Yes, we realised when we pushed it that it could put the bishop on as well, and we had nothing. But he's got double pawn, so you might as well say that that's a single pawn, in a sense. Yes, so we could have lost quite easily here, I think. Although it's um, minus 0.6, again. So we moved the king, it's basically saying move the knight and don't really want to use the computer yeah so that's going backwards and forwards for white so okay we carried on let's go there king blocking the pawn yeah and it's only because they have um, they've got one pawn extra that's why they've got the advantage and it's showing minus one at the moment so there was something potentially so we were looking for the draw 
and then we tried to see if we could get that position but that's not happening what did the computer suggest going back yeah <laughs> fair enough and yes the bishop just taking over the show a little bit although I did think that the bishop was really a bad bishop it really was because it wasn't being used to its fullest potential because it couldn't actually push through but that's all good so we bring the king down and we're just moving the king around just moving the king around again it is saying take this pawn though I don't think that would have if it, that wouldn't have put me in good stead at all, I don't think. King easily comes down. It's seeing some knight move here now, so we were wanting to bring our knight. Maybe the knight was going to come here. Yeah, like that. We did discuss that type of move, but really... And it's got a draw at this stage. So the king didn't have any way in. So I think we were right to offer the draw really because there wasn't any any meaty entries and his king was just going to be going around and around and around and we worked out it couldn't really do anything on that side so I think we stopped the bleeding on that one very nice game